So let's say I want to expand 2 minus 3x to the power of 4. And I'm going to use this binomial expansion method. OK, so what we're going to start off with is if I had a plus b to the power of 4, what I get is a to the 4 plus 4, a reduces, b increases, 6, a reduces, b increases, 4, a reduces, b increases, and then uh, b to the power of 4, okay? So that's what I get when I expand a plus b to the 4. And I'm going to use this pattern to expand 2 minus 3x to the 4. So I start off with 2 to the power of 4. That's my a now, okay? That's a, that's the 2, and the b is the minus 3x. So a to the power of 4. So 2 to the power of 4 plus 4 times a cubed, so 2 reduces in power, and the minus 3x I'm going to put in a bracket, and it's, that's effectively to the power of 1. Now, instead of writing it out in one long line, I tend to write this section in a column, OK? It's, you can spot the pattern much more easily. So we have the next number is 6, so 6 times 2 reduces in power, and the minus 3x increases in power. It is imperative that you write this in a bracket. If you don't, something is bound to go wrong, especially with these minus signs. So we've got 1, 4, 6, then 4. 2 reduces in power, and the minus 3x increases in power. And then finally, we have the minus 3x to the power of 4. OK, so 2 to the power of 4, so 2, 4, 8, 16, plus 4 times 8, so 32, times by 3, it's 96, so minus 96, because that minus sign. Then we've got 6 times 4. OK, so that's 24, times by 9. So 24 times 9 is 240, take 24. So 220, so 216, so plus 216x squared. Because the minus is squared, we've got 4 times 2, so 8, times by minus 27. OK, so 8 lots of 27. If you need to, go to a bit of long multiplication. Sometimes even my brain gets a little bit confuddled. We've got to do this without a calculator, remember, because it's core 1. 7 eighths of 56. 2 eighths of 16. Plus the 5 is 21. So 216. So 216 again. So it's minus 216 x cubed. And then finally, we've got minus 3 to the power of 4. So that's 81. So 81 x to the 4. OK, and that is the ex fully expanded form of 2 minus 3x to the power of 4. So it is important that you get used to writing it down in this pattern, OK? It will make things a lot easier for you. And don't forget the brackets.